Hey everybody, Real Fan Man. Happy Sunday, November 13th, 2022. Uh, trying to do a layout overview here, the best I can, so bear with me. Uh, I don't think I've really actually have done a layout overview. I mean, I might have hit pieces here and there during updates, but um, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm trying to make this as painless as possible for everybody. Um, okay, so this is an HL scale layout. I've modeled an HL scale for most of my life. I've had an N scale layout back in the day when I was younger. Um, then I got back into HO because I was an HO, then N scale, now HO. So I pretty much like HO scale. Uh, it's that's it's easier for me to work on. Looks a little more realistic. Um, but I think the main thing is it's easy easier to work on like end scale some of the end scale stuff is like insanely crazy i think insanely crazy interesting all right so as i said hl scale layout my layout is nine feet wide nine feet wide by 12 feet long it's two levels as you can see Probably got the full two levels up on this layout, on this build. Uh, my helix is four and a half feet by four and a half feet. Uh, outside radius is about 48 inches. Inside radius is 44 inches. This is based on, well, the build itself is pretty much based on how Chris from Go Gear Go Home built his. Um, I totally could have done a better job on this. However, it still works, and I, I'm happy with how it came out for probably how fast I built it, we'll say. Um, I had a lot of the pieces left over, and I just kind of repurposed the uh, the tiers. So, um, I mean, I'm happy with it. It works. So, there's a spot up here, though, I need to look at. I'm probably going to have to replace a section of track in this area right here she's focus because um, uh, there's a soldering uh, piece of soldering um, that I connected to a joint that I obviously wanted to solder up yeah I could talk still still can't talk anyways I gotta replace the section um, and if uh, the ab Amtrak stalls I'll, that'll be uh, a good example of why I need to replace that so uh, the last time it stalled, it was going a little faster, so it kind of moved, I think, the weight. Kind of jogged the track a little bit, so. Okay, enough about that. Uh, so, real, realistically, my layout's based on the Pan Am Southern Railway. It's loosely based. Yeah, there it goes. It'll probably pick up once it connects. Anyways. Yeah, there you go. And this is my version of the East Deerfield Yard. Uh, very small in comparison to the real real yard. But, you know, I could probably hold between like eh, 25 to 30 cars, I guess, depending on the length. Um, and it's got my diesel shop. And I have like a just a storage track for right now, which I'm going to throw a... I'm gonna throw a switch in here, potentially. This is like a rip track right here, or it's gonna be another storage track. And of course the diesel uh, sand and fueling facility right there. I just kind of put the yard office right there for now. Um, I mean, it made sense, you know, just made sense to me, so. Um, but yeah, you know, it's uh, really, I, I try to uh, try to. Well, I can't say I, I, I go as prototypical as the real railroads do. I mean, there's you know obviously it's a model railroad, so space is limited to what I can really do. Um, I try to condense it as best as possible. Like this area right here, basically, and you've seen me do some operations in this area. This is the Gardner. Mass area, which is east of East Deerfield Yard. So, um, generally speaking, I have 
I, I can make some trains that I know of and that I've seen like people talk about on the Facebook groups. There's like uh, 22K, 23K. Um, there's Poed, there's Edpo. They all have something to do with East Deerfield Yard. And uh, along with various interchanges. Um, and then of course the industries that I switch. So um, real quick to the height on this for the first level is supposed to be 46 inches which it generally is however this floor this floor actually starts high by the window and it actually goes lower as you walk in towards the center of the the, uh, the house so i had that to contend with when i was building this layout i'm gonna stand by for one second all right i'm back um yeah so the height of the first level is 46 inches and uh, the height of the second level is 61 inches so um, which I kind of like it I like it higher so because I'm almost I'm almost six feet and say we'll say about six feet I'm pretty close to it we'll round it off and um, this is like this is eye level for me right here and uh, we do have a little stool right there one little stool if I need to you know get up here and do some work and stuff but so again back to the yard sorry if i'm moving here around a lot so i have eastbound trains westbound trains southbound trains northbound trains like my eastbound train again is the gardener turn or um i think it's uh 22k so 22k i believe originates I, if I'm correct, originates in New York, and I believe it's the River Line, Connecticut River Line, or something like that. But anyways, Norfolk Southern um, uh, has that train, and they run. They leave like New York, I guess, and they come through the Hoosac Tunnel, and then they hit East Deerfield Yard, and uh, they drop off, pick up cars, maybe. I just say they do. I don't know if they do it all the time. They might. They might not. And then they continue on to like Air Mass, which is another another hub, I guess. They have like intermodel, I think inter intermodel there, and auto carriers and whatnot. So, but that's 22k. So like I don't do everything exactly prototypical because um, it's this is a model railroad. I mean I'm not I'm not going to be doing everything like to the T. And I, I like to, you know, try and do the best I can, make it, you know, a little more realistic. But I'm not going to go crazy and, uh, you know, dot every T. I mean, dot every I, cross every T, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, so then there's 23K, which uh, originates, I believe, in air, air mass. And then they, they uh, head west. And they have a stop in East Deerfield Yard, and then from East Deerfield Yard, they head to, like, uh, I think Rochester, New York. Um, so I just go with that, pretty much, you know, nothing special. Um, so 23K is westbound, then uh, my layout, uh, WTE Recycling is, like, like I said, maybe, maybe a half a mile from the yard. Not even half, probably a quarter mile from the yard, and here it is right here, and that's westbound. So pretty much it's at the end of the west side of the yard. So I pretty much put the spur for that right there. And I've done an op session just recently with the WTE. So that's close to the yard for westbound. And I'm not sure if I have any, I don't think I have any interchanges westbound. But all right, so and uh, yeah, that was westbound. So northbound um, travels they're gonna leave the yard going this way. <coughs> Excuse me. And then they can cross over. So originally I had this track as the northbound, um, which doesn't really have a ton of uh, industries. Well, I don't have a ton of industries up there. To, um, I'm sorry, no, I got it backwards. Yeah, so anyways, northbound is now southbound. And southbound is now northbound. I'll explain why. So these two lines go up the helix to represent northbound, southbound. 
So this was originally going to be the southbound line. And as you can see, I got the slanted ceiling and pretty much not a lot of room to work with. So I decided to make this to northbound only because I don't really know too much about the northbound line on the, the Pan Am Southern and how much they switch up there. So I just kind of threw up these industries like Water Street Freight Terminal. I'll probably have like maybe a passenger station, small little, I don't know, platform up here for the Vermonter. And then of course I got Beaver Lumber. And in the middle of the second level basically is going to be the divider. So any train that comes up doing the northbound run uh, or the switching jobs, you know, there's a runaround track up there and they can do their job, run around their train and then head back the same direction they came, which would be the East Deerfield Yard. And the same goes for the uh, southbound line, which is the inside track that comes up which is what the Amtrak's on right now. So that comes up the inside track, and then here we are southbound. So this is all the southbound industries right here. Um, you know, I got big in cement for right now. Uh, my up and coming Turf Care, which is a, a, a company I used to work for before I got back into landscaping. And then I got the team track, which I just did Operations 5 on. And I got Lakeville Shipping, which is not permanent there I just kind of like set it up I got to put the backdrops up and central gas and I'll have like probably two two more two more or three more industries going in for the backdrop and I'm actually thinking about even having like a oil or I mean some sort of um chemical oil I don't know tank loading facility unloading facility over here so or I might even do it at the opposite end. Um, the cable box obviously is going to disappear. Um, so I still have space up here, you know, to do quite a bit. And southbound from the yard, there's a lot more, like, because they're actually headed towards like Springfield, Mass, and all that. So um, there's a lot more, I think. Um, switching opportunities if you will um going down south and going northbound so um i don't know i just kind of like in general i just basically built this layout from what i knew and from what you know i've seen and from just reading some people's uh, posts on facebook you know on, the, on some of these groups and all that there's a there's a ton more trains and, and symbols i could probably use but right now i just use the general symbols like 23k 22k ed po po ed which actually those I, those are two more trains that i could talk about like ed po is uh east deerfield yard to portland maine so they're generally heading north so it's like a northbound train and uh, Poed, obviously vice versa. That's Portland, Maine, and East Deerfield the Yard. And you know, I just pretty much, uh, you know, hit the JMRI. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hit JMRI, <laughs> and um, you know, I set up my ops and build my different trains. Actually, I'll pull out the cards real quick and show you what I do. Stand by. All right, before I. Before I show you that, so those of you that have followed like Pan Am and CSX news, I guess, um, CSX is now the proud owner of the Pan Am Southern. So, um, with saying that, I'm pretty much mod uh, modeling the modern era, and that includes the transition from Pan Am to CSX, and uh, of course, you know. We've got some CSX locomotives. Um, X Conrail. These eventually, um, just on a side note, I'm probably going to be blacking these out and just putting CSX T on there, maybe. You know, this will get blacked out. They'll get like renumbered. Well, this one, I don't know. I, I haven't gotten too 
skilled in replacing number boards, but who knows? Maybe uh, maybe there's something out there I could do for that. We'll see. But essentially, this is now CSX. CSX owned. And, you know, you're still going to see some uh, Pan Am power and, you know, like Guilford Rail System, Main Central. This one, I, I, I'm going to keep this one the same. This is a classic right here to me, so... I do like this GP9 the way it is, and obviously the GM, uh, the, yeah, the GMTX. I'll keep it the same way. Okay, enough of that. Uh, yeah, and these. Okay, two more. These two will probably see some CSX uh, changes, so we'll see. I don't know, Daylight Dave, Boston Maine covered hopper. What do you think we should do with that? I don't want to scrap it. It looks good. It's brand new, pretty much. Same thing with this Conrail. All right, so right here, these are my uh, these are my index cards, and I just pretty much write down, you know, I get the name of the the company, Beaver Lumber. Uh, when I do JMRI ops, I actually write the date down, and when I finish the ops, I just highlight it. So these are pretty much all the ops I did on this operating session. And then this is my train order, which I'm switching it up now. I'm actually doing like uh, this last one I did 23k, and I did um, I did Poed. So I'm kind of like building two different trains and just running them at the same time, rather than like I was doing. I would do 23k, then I would uh, I would set up uh, yeah the JMRI for 23k, the interchange and local freight. Local freight could be whatever, whatever I pick. And it could be two industries, five industries, whatever. And as the as more industries are coming onto my layout, there's obviously more switching opportunities. So even if say if I just did Beaver Lumber and uh, Water Street Freight Terminal on the second level, you know I would just do the fill out these. Obviously, you know okay, put the date on it, put the cards with my train order here. So boom boom and then there's the interchange right here okay so i just did the pioneer valley railroad interchange on 1029 or that's when i set up the jmri for it you know okay three trains five trains with the 23k and poed you know it's uh the system works for me so um but anyways yeah it's still it's still in i don't know work in progress i guess we'll say there's just so much, uh, so many different things I could do, so on and so forth, and I'm kind of rambling on here, and I'm trying not to, um, and it hopes to save like ink and, and paper, because ink's expensive, you know, once in a while I'll print one out, and uh, kind of look like that, it's upside down, but anyways, I just take the time and write it down, it's just as easy, you know. Kind of enjoy doing it too, because it's like, all right, getting a, get some trains set up, um, you know, ready to rock and roll for my my op sessions. And some I do like once, one or two maybe I'll do, you know, on my own without videoing it. But I like to share the uh, share the excitement and the progress of switching the layout. Um, yeah, sorry if I was all over the place with uh, this layout overview. I'm just like, there's a there's just a lot going on in this small room, you know. You know, it's a decent size layout. A lot of work to do, but uh, I think over the past six months, or maybe five or six months, something like that, I've been re kind of like redoing this layout. Um, I'm, I'm liking it. It's, uh, you know, it's it's starting to come to life and so on and so forth. Um, still a lot more to do, but I look forward to getting into it. I don't plan on ripping this one down anytime soon um, and rebuilding it. I'm just I'm going with it, going with the flow. Although, like I said, the only area that I plan on rearranging track work is the Gardner Turn area. Um, I'm gonna rearrange this track. I actually ordered some stuff from Yankee Dabbler. I got my curve switch coming in, so I'm gonna have a curve coming out this way. It's gonna follow the main, the siding that's gonna follow the main. And I'm going to try and keep that Y right there. But I might switch that out too. I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned for that. All right. We're coming on 20 minutes. That's enough. 
<coughs> excuse me. Hopefully that answers any questions that you may have that you haven't asked. Um, if not, feel free to, you know, like leave a comment, ask me a question in the comment section below and uh, I'll do my best to answer it. Um, yeah, anything, like I said, anything you need to, you want to ask, feel free. Constructive criticism, always welcome. This is a work in progress, you know. Real Lady 2020 always tells me, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, so I've actually kind of just been working on the, the layout a little here and there. And, uh, you know, a little here and there has come a long way in the past five, six months. So, all right, that's it for me. I'll shut up now. Everybody take care. Have a great rest of your Sunday. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the operations videos. Um, I'm going to try and, you know, switch it up a little bit each time, you know, where I actually commentary on it or I won't. And I'm um, trying to get ready to do a live op session. That would be kind of cool. I haven't done one in quite some time and uh, kind of miss it. So, all right, I'll leave you with this shot. Everybody take care. Happy modeling. Real Fan Man, signing out.